Hello everyone. Um, for this week's discussion, I am so excited to be talking about my research that I've done on Deborah Sampson. And I think one thing we can find out is she has not been looked at enough when it comes to history and women, or should I say powerful women. And what I have learned is her impact we still see today and even among the Deborah Sampson Act that was recently passed a couple years ago gives women the opportunity to have services once they leave the armed forces no matter what branch of military they are and in this they're also given you know any kind of housing so that we don't see any homelessness among women as also of course there is the side of men too and another thing that i discovered was in her memoirs um the titled the female review horace mann kind of portrays this picture of her as someone who is seen having affairs with one of the men in her regiment group. Now, I highly doubt that's how she was viewed even in today's society as people do more research about her. I view her as someone who fought for women equality, but also did this for the money reasons. And of course, after the Revolutionary War was over, people were given pensions because of fighting in the war but they didn't receive them until after now after the war she didn't receive hers until later on after all of the men had received their pensions and in in one of kelly bell's writings she portrays deborah by acknowledging that a woman's place is not necessarily in the home. And we see that today because women still want the same equality as men when it comes to work. We see a lot of women in our society who don't stay at home. And we're kind of seeing this picture of some men staying home while women are in the workforce. So we see this difference among today's society rather than in previous societies. And I have enjoyed so much doing research on her because of her being the foundation for women and for their equalities, even at such an early time in our history. Because during this time, even in other countries, women were either used for not necessarily good purposes or they were stuck at home taking care of families and so on and so forth so i think through her story and i highly encourage you to research her outside of what i have said throughout this semester and as i become an educator now when i talk about the revolutionary war and those fighting I can sit here and mention the impact that she had and this can she can also be talked about in sections when it comes to women fighting for rights because we were taught I was taught that it necessarily didn't start in the revolutionary war which after examining Deborah's perspective it started in the Revolutionary War and started during the founding of America. So I highly encourage you to research her and do some more study on her because it was a phenomenal topic to do, especially because of how much I enjoy the Revolutionary Era. And again, I have enjoyed all of my discussions with every one of you. I've loved your feedback. I hope you can give me some feedback on this to tell me your kind of perspective on things. Um, it's been a wonderful semester.